sea gods of Olympus! Do you need more proof than this? Placing all of his godly power into the weapon had rendered Kratos mortal, vulnerable to the arms of death. Bloodied and beaten, he knew that to have any hope of survival, he must retrieve the blade of Olympus. Before his Spartan army, Kratos dragged himself up from the dirt. Okay, I'll bite. Not how it's supposed to go. Why is that eagle there, seriously? Oh wow. Please stop staring. It was that eagle's fault, I swear. Oh, those cards are actually talking. What power could possibly defeat the God sometimes they'll talk, sometimes they won't. Ah, I can't do anything. This is not fair. Don't worry, Kratos, just a little farther. to attend to this matter myself. Athena refused to undo her mistake. Imagine caring for a creature such as yourself. Why? Why would you betray me? It is you who would betray me. Am I to stand idly by while Olympus is threatened? Your hands are already stained by the blood of a god. I will not let Ares' fate be my own. The gods are petty and pathetic, and your rule is weak. I grow tired of this insolence. I am the king of Olympus. And it is my way that is the way of the gods. You must vow to forever serve me. I serve no one. Then you'll leave me no choice. Why are they fighting amongst themselves? Please come and help. You are a dirty, dirty old man, Zeus. Submit. I would rather die. It did not have to be this way, my son. This path is of your choosing. A choice from the gods is as useless as the gods themselves. Even now, as you draw your last breath, you continue to defy me! Everything you have ever known, Kratos, will now suffer because of your sacrilege. You will never be the ruler of Olympus. The cycle ends here. You will pay for this, Zeus. Be certain of that. As the life drained out of Kratos, the arms of Hades reached out to claim their prize. But there was more resting on Kratos' shoulders than he could know. Kratos was destined to bring about change so severe that it would shake the very pillars of Mount Olympus. His death was something that I could not allow. Ares! Destroy my inner! 
enemies, and my life is yours! This is not the end. Who are you? I am the Titan Gaia, ever-present mother of Earth. I have watched you become a powerful warrior, and I have been with you through all the events of your life. But I can no longer simply watch. We will help you defeat Zeus. Death is an escape, Kratos. You are a warrior of Sparta, not a coward. Only a coward accepts death. I am no coward. Then you must fight. I will show you the way to the Sisters of Fate. Only with their power will you defeat Zeus. This is your first real challenge. I have no help, and this is where things really do get hard. So, you have to keep on moving. That's the main goal. And I kind of wish that, um, I've actually heard a lot of stories where this is where people give up on very hard, and I can't blame people. This, this gave me problems too my first time, and frankly, this is still a problem. invincibility frames and loads of health. Circle is your best bet. I recommend square still. But that's pretty much it. Combat on the wall is still a little different, but whatever. That's done. That's really your first challenge. Just follow you start with so little health. Oh god. At least Kratos does actually care about Spartans being dead, and you know, one Spartan who seems to be moving. My lord, I knew you could not be killed. I never lost faith. Return to Sparta and prepare for battle. You can still hold a sword. Spartans do not surrender. Do as your god commands. And what of you, my lord? I am going after Zeus. It seems I still have allies on Olympus. Alright, I don't know where that phoenix... I mean, <laughs> phoenix! I don't know where the horse came from. Oh, well. Seems the war is actually still kind of going on because you can see there being shots fired. And now it says Gaia has given you the opportunity to save your progress and not Zeus, which I think is a still of a nice touch. And yes, it's been that long since I recorded. Um, I got kind of busy with stuff. <laughs> Olympus beast! 
I must face Zeus! You defy the god of war! You are no longer a god, Kratos. Zeus, Olympus, and the blade which holds all your power will forevermore be out of reach. Your only hope is to find the sisters of fate and travel back through time to the moment Zeus betrayed you, for only then will he truly be vulnerable. Kratos, to succeed, you will need more help than I can give. My titan brother slumbers deep inside his mountain prison. Go, it is time he was awakened. Ah, our those things are kind of weak. You, the ram attacks with, with um R1 and L1, they actually apparently kill them in two hits. I didn't think that would happen. As you can guess, do the brutal kills on them because otherwise they don't give anything. Because Titan Mode can be in troll sometimes. Oh. Hey. Come on. So there's not much else to this section, but you actually will notice that we temporarily have our magic back. Use it by, by pressing X. There's not much else to it. We have these, I think these are the Griffins. And then we actually have a different guy, and I think that's it over there! It's a giant turkey! Oh, I think it's a giant turkey. I don't know what the hell it is otherwise. Right now we have um, a little interesting section. All right, first things first. If you're playing on Titan, restart from checkpoint. No matter what version you're playing, do that. We're gonna have to dodge all of this thing's attacks, and its last one is actually on Titan an instant kill. It will always hurt you. Can't avoid it. But when you reset checkpoint, it is no longer an instant kill. So nothing to really worry about. You're gonna see right here, I think. Yeah, that is unavoidable. I don't really know why that is or why I didn't even bother to patch it, but God of War 2 is the buggier of the two God of War games in this first collection. You're gonna know some of the bugs I'm talking about later on in the game. Is this your Titan brother, Gaia? He doesn't look that happy to see us. She didn't tell him about us, did she? Need some help back. I'll be honest, I don't even know what the hell the Pex is doing or why it's here. I really don't know. You do not have enough power to lift the fingers of the Great Titan. You must see the Pegasus Pegasus. It is your only passage to the Sisters of Fate. Let's see. Hey, stupid harpies. Let's see. The cool thing though is that you actually hold on circle when you're grabbing one of the smaller enemies. You can throw them into another. I actually really love it. It's very useful. And does a lot of damage to other enemies. And it will usually instant kill the smaller enemy. Very nice. Of course we have to leave our fine horse friend. I seriously don't know why it did that. Why it came in here. Where there's a Gorgonite here. I'll just open this up to get some health back. But yeah, we're too weak. We no longer have the power of God. Otherwise, we could probably just Falcon punch this thing if we could. And then it would release the Pixis. Where did that Pixis come from? I actually don't know. 
and wall combat when you're climbing is very much is, is a bit different, not that similar. Circles still is the best way to deal with them. I think your attacks are generally stronger, and you do have true invincibility frames when you're doing the circle attack. And as you saw, when that enemy hit me, it didn't actually do damage. In the first God of War, when you were climbing and you were doing a circle kill, you could still be hurt. But Kratos would not flinch or get out of the animation. When you were, on, when you were hanging off a tightrope, Kratos could still be pushed out of that circle animation. Why it is, I don't really know. The triangle attack is now a basic plume, which is nice. Kind of just look for my taste though, but the hit stun could work if you want. Can't say, I think in a way, um, Kratos using his swords to actually hang off these is kind of more animalistic, which fits with the concept of Kratos being an animal that developers tried to go to the first game, but that's just me. I also like that the circle attacks when you're hanging off stuff now have an actual range. I complained about in the first game how there was like no, no rain. Like it felt a lot smaller than it was. God of they actually changed up the climbing combat again. It has a similar system to when you're on the ground, like a basic three hit plume combo. It works pretty well. I wouldn't really prefer it to ground combat, but it's a nice change. <laughs> oh, that actually killed him. And they gave me orbs. That's a shame. Let's see. This was from a practice run, actually, that was going to be its, its own recording, but I kind of goofed a little. I don't remember what really happened. <laughs> okay, I had a little interruption. Uh, but anyway, we see we have Minotaurs. Now, this time around, we can't infinite juggle them like you saw me do all the time then in God of War. But tossing enemies works just as well, if not even more effectively. I guess about, like, maybe throwing two enemies would probably take them out outright. They still get orbs, so that server prompt kill, not a bad idea. And they also do give actual experience, so that's kind of a two. I say that because for some reason the ruthless kill bonus in God of War was taken out. Why? I don't know. I don't know why in the PS3 HD collection that's not a thing. It's still bothered. They didn't bother patching the bugs in this version, in God of War 2. But they took that on God of War, so I don't know. But about collisions, throwing enemies, because enemies do more damage in this game than Kratos, throwing them does more damage to enemies than it would on a lower difficulty. That's the biggest boon to Titan. It's, it might be a glitch. I think it is. But it's a useful one. And I still do love the whole idea of throwing enemies into another. Grab you to get my full health back. And again, archers are usually going to be your biggest problems in any fight. So really, any projectile wielding jerkish enemy. Whoa. I actually did not. Okay. I actually did not think it would hit that other Minotaur. Although. Oh, it did bring him to a circle prompt. And for those of you who are doubting this, watch. They fall straight to the group. <laughs> I threw it down. I didn't know what would happen. Did that happen again? Oh my god. Let's do this again. I did not. I did not know that would happen. Why are they constantly spawning? They were only supposed to be like a few minotaurs, not that 
and me. <laughs> I did not know that was a thing. I really did not think you could bring him out. <laughs> I really didn't. Although it's odd that me throwing one of those Minotaurs into another didn't do anything like that much damage. Because the way that's usually your best ever doing with Minotaurs, throwing them in the air, throwing another enemy into them. And why I'm still not getting experience from this chest, I don't know, but it's pissing me off now.